Hi everyone, you've got Britt here from Celestial Citizen and the ever delightful Bailey Burns from Paragon. Bailey, how's it going? Oh, stop. Oh, you. Oh, I'm great. How are you, Britt? <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's Thursday night. It's for all mankind night. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm just ready, Bailey. I'm just ready. I think some people also in our comments were at Comic-Con um, or For All Mankind. So now I know previously in the season we had lobbied for Bailey and I to get funding to go to IAC Paris, still hoping for that. But I'm actually thinking, Bailey, now we need to go to Comic-Con next year. Yeah. And like we need to like interview the For All Mankind cast. We need to like get in there, be at the panels where they're at and get the inside scoop for our community here because the great news of this week is that season four is coming it's renewed woo yay for all mankind yay your <laughs> fingers um but yes no truly so really excited about that which also means that season four of brit and bailey reaction videos is also renewed <laughs> good news for you guys <laughs> we're coming back so yeah that's a two for one special right there it is it, it really is um so yeah so like i don't know i'm i'm kind of feeling like we need to be in on the comic-con action um and everyone listening if there's anywhere else are there other things other than comic-con like where we can find this cast like a conference style event like where can we go to to try to uh you know get the inside scoop get some interviews yeah, we're going to need tips there because we don't know. We only know about space conferences. We don't know. About <laughs> yeah, yeah, truly. All we know is, like, space conferences. So if there's, like, conferences where people can go to generally be fans of shows, um, that's where we want to be. We had a tremendous amount of comments. So many, and so many good ones. So many good ones. So, all right, Bailey, what's your favorite comment? Oh, my gosh, I have so many. Um... I did, I did love um, Kaylin W's poem. Kaylin's poem, Kaylin, you rocked it. You really did. Yeah. Like, you understood the assignment. So, good yeah. job. Kudos to you. A poem by Kaylin W, performed by Bailey. This week on For All Mankind, we saw the first Mars quake. Turns out, Ed putting Danny on comms was a big mistake. He messed up and is going to need even more therapy. And now Kelly's Russian boy can never ask her to marry me, sad face. Oh, that is sad. Right. <laughs> that's a good one. Right now, Danielle is about the only one worth rooting for. But hey, back on Earth, Pam is back and maybe better than ever before. Meanwhile, Molly and Wayne are self-care queens, just painting and smoking grass. But uh-oh, Alita found out the truth and is going to kick Margot's bleep. <laughs> you guys can rhyme. You know what that word was. <laughs> Over at Helos, Karen's the new COO. What a girl boss. Now Deb won't be the only one calling the shot. Mm -hmm. Did you see the news? We're renewed for season four. Let's party. Now my only question is where the bleep is Biscotti? Where? Where is Biscotti? Where, where is Biscotti? Hashtag, I don't know. Hashtag where is Biscotti? We need to know. Hashtag, where is Sally Ride? But there are so many other good comments. Um, just kind of, honestly, a lot of people had a lot to say about, like, the, the drugs and, like, you know, what... I mean, I agreed there was a comment about, like, how those should be locked up, and typically they are locked up even here on Earth, and just, like, how to handle pain management and drug, like, addiction, that kind of stuff in space. There was a lot just kind of, like, that was weird, you know? Mm hmm No, I agree. Yeah, and, uh, you know, of course, one of my favorite things, Bailey, in the comments is that I really feel a sense of solidarity with this community because so many people were also traumatized by Furbies. And you all found through, some trauma bonding. Uh, Darsh Davis Space and Motivation said, thanks for featuring my comment last week and featuring it again this week. You're welcome. Um, glad, uh, glad you think so too about the Batmobile resemblance, but also Darsh says this was an intense episode and I think the Furby toys are indeed scary. 
the stuffed toy zero G indicator scene was creepy and funny at the same time. I agree, Darsh. I, I agree. I mean, honestly, I was a little bit like I had, an what's that word? Anthropomorphized the, the little dog. And I was kind of terrified, but yeah, that was, uh, that was not good. My, my favorite Furby comment was from uh, Newsies Mario, though. Do you want to read it, Britt? Because I, I love this Oh, one. yeah. Oh, I see this one now. Yes. Oh, my God. This one was amazing. Um, Newsies Mario said, I'm calling. Wait, wait. You have to read it really, really dramatically. Okay. <clears throat> Newsies Mario, as performed by, what did you say? As performed or read by? Whatever. Performed by Britt. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> performed by Britt. Uh. I'm calling the season finale cliffhanger. They will discover life on Mars, and the final shot will be a real, living, breathing Furby. Dun-dun-dun. Ah, beautiful. Thank you. I really tried on that one. I love that comment. That one had me laughing quite literally out loud. And Max Quinn, too. Max Quinn said, glad I wasn't the only one with a demonic Furby. No, Max, you are not the only one. You are not alone. You are in good company. We'll, we'll get um, a support group that meets on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, and then Ren Tristan de la Cruz said, new horror film, Furbies in Space. <laughs> good one. I don't know if I could watch it. I don't know if I could watch it, Bailey. Too scary. Too too real. Yeah, too real. So Perpetually High Astro Guy put up a really good, like, where do you want the memes? Um, Britt and I talked about it. We would like to see them on Twitter. And then if you tag Celestial Citizen, but then also tag me and Britt. I'm at an engineer girl. Britt, what's your handle? And then tag and then tag Celestial Britt. Um yeah, no, because I would love I would love to see it. Also, we have a pretty cool newsletter, which I feel like I never talked about on here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. So basically, folks, if you want a space newsletter that is just fun and gets you all the news, but is also kind of snarky and a little bit spicy at times, check out Continuum. Okay, you can subscribe. Break your and girl. The reason say. why I bring this up is because we do put out like we select like a fun meme when we send it out so perpetually high astro guy you might we might actually credit you and put your meme in the newsletter so definitely send it to us i'm excited to see them any meme makers like and and actually that goes for like not even for all mankind just space memes in general like go nuts mm -hmm. we love a space meme we are here for it mm -hmm. oh oh my god <laughs> bailey what? Totally, we forgot. Drinking word. I, catastrophe is the only word I can think of right now. What about dust? What about dust? Dust? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. I'm sure we'll hear that a lot. Dust. Okay. Uh-oh. There it is. What the hell is this? A Mars quake? I don't think so. That's the head of the Mars quake. Helios, Happy Valley, do you copy? Oh, no. <gasps> Prep both rovers, load them up with all the emergency gear they can carry, and fill up the tanks. There's no telling how long we'll be out there. What's your boss? I'm so and here for Danny. She was like, let's go. I know what to do. Now. Yeah. Understand? Oh my god, yeah. Danny's the best. Yeah. I'd go on a mission with her any day. She knows what's up. But who supports Danny? You know what I mean? Danny's the strong one for everyone. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> oh! You're right! It's a hunt moment! <laughs> My Mulan moment came except it's a I can't foot. believe it. It's a foot. It, it was kind of a it was kind of a Mulan moment. It was a little bad. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Kelly's boyfriend. Thank goodness he's okay. Well for now. That's true. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, oh no. You didn't even put up a fight. You left me without saying a word to my face. Yeah, that sucks. That hurt. Yeah, and she thought she was going back to someone else. Look at the pain in Ellen's eyes. I gave you up. Because I thought maybe one day you could make a real difference for people like us. Oh. Hmm. And I guess I was wrong. 
Oh, that stings. Oh, low blow. Way to kick her while she's down, Pam. Man, they were so lucky their suits didn't get punctured like that. Yeah. But also, like, is the glass on the spacesuit, like, that easily broken, Bailey? I don't think so, but it's also not meant to be slammed against rocks, you know? Yeah. Like, that, that's pretty intense, yeah. What the hell happened? Landslide. From the ridge. That's true. I didn't know that it's his fault. Worse. Buried us. Yeah, he doesn't know. And who knows how far down we are. <gasps> Is it Alexi? Yes! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag yeah, I guess now. Knows now. <laughs> Truly, though, they are so cute. I love them. I'm, I'm here for it. I, I didn't know who I felt in the beginning, but I think they're pretty adorable. Yeah. And she... Cause you remember, we kind of felt like she had a crush on Danny. She she deserved better than Danny, and she got better than Danny. You guys mapped out all the lava tubes around here. <gasps> that means you've got ground penetrating radar, correct? We're oh gonna talk about lava, lava tubes. tubes. Good. Lava so tubes, Bailey. Hook it up. Bailey and I are obsessed with lava tubes. Okay. I love lava tubes. Literally love love lava <laughs> tubes. Also. What I love about this is they're envisioning use of lava tubes for emergency situations, which is something I have said before that I am here for. Okay, so lava tubes, real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to go on this rant. So we have lava tubes here on Earth, mm -hmm. right? And so basically what it is is the lava from volcanoes and such, if it goes under the surface, it melts the rock, like, a lot faster, and it just carves out these massive, like, caverns, tunnels, lava tubes. And it's kind of like how you think about like caves being formed of water, but it's with lava. So it's like immediately like the rock melts and everything like that. But um, when I went and lived in high seas, that's what we were doing. We were exploring lava tubes. And like, that's when I fell in love with lava tubes. And I think they're amazing. But it turns out that there are also lava tubes on both the moon and Mars. And that's really fascinating because it's going to tell us a lot about like the geology. Obviously, both of those places had like volcanic activity and stuff, but it can tell us a lot about the geology underneath the surface, which like when we finally get there and we start exploring those, geologists are going to lose their minds. It's going to be so cool. Yeah. But then also, as kind of alluded to in this, there's discussion about having habitats down there. I like the idea of using them for like storage um, or like, you or know, maybe emergency like shelters. Yeah, kind of like that kind of stuff. And but basically, because of the lower gravity on both the moon and Mars, these these lava tubes are like times five bigger, like five times bigger than what's here on Earth. So lava oh, tubes. I'm so excited, yeah. you guys. I love lava. Yeah, tubes. like you could literally like on the moon or on Mars, like you could literally fill like buildings inside of them. Like that's yeah. how big they are. You can have a city. Uh, and lava and tubes. if you if you like Google it, like you can Google like pictures for like like relative scale and it's like fascinating mm -hmm. oh it's karen oh, oh, hi, karen. <laughs> oh my god can't believe you came of course where else would i be thank you oh but oh my god wait i was like oh that's so nice but i'm like oh wait but she slept with your husband but it was like when he was a kid it wasn't like while they were together Wait, that doesn't make it better. It was when he was a kid. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, like, she totally ruined their marriage, Bailey. That's true. You're right. I cannot lose this headache. What a headache. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Probably has a and concussion. he threw up. Oh, he has a concussion. Yeah, because he threw up and he's got a headache. And... What is it all? Oh? We got something? I don't know. We yeah. found them. Jesus. Now he's got to get to them in time. Where's Dev? Oh, he uh, he said he needed some air. Ooh. Passed away before I even graduated college. Hmm. I mean, this is sad, but so like people have hours to live. Yeah. I agree, it's a very touching moment, you know, but... I tell the story of how my dad came to this country with no Danny money and Ed, to his name okay. in it. When you were away, I said, oh, or on orbit, or on the moon, Shane came to life, laughing, goofing around. When you came home, he'd withdraw again, because he was so scared of you. Hey, you shut up! Oh what kind of man gets off on terrifying a little boy? His own son! 
Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Baby. I thought he was gonna bring up Karen. He brought Shane into this. <gasps> oh no. What happened? He had a headache. He was stumbling when we came up the ramp, but he got worse when we were pressurized. I knew a move. Was he slurring words off balance? A little bit. Help me get him on table. I got his head. Stay with us, Lexi. Kelly needs you. I suspect some. Kelly can't lose Alexi, Ed, and Danny. No. He's gonna come through, Bailey. I can't. I can't. I could see them really killing Alexi, man. I'll position twice before we even Although, the Although, usually Robin's have more, like, rocks and stuff yeah, like that, because it's very well carved out. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, not all the obstacles and stuff. Alright, so, definitely, Danny or Ed, one of them's not gonna make it. Who's not gonna make it, Bailey? I feel like it's Ed because he's bleeding out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. This could be Ed's last. Uh, Let's go. Besides... You're not the only one who sinned against Shane. <gasps> no, Danny. You just stop it right now. Stop talking, Danny. You're the shit Shane and I did. I'm the reason Karen grounded him that day. <gasps> if he had never met me, Karen would have driven him to that basketball game. That is some survivor's guilt. He would have never gotten hit by stuff. that car. He would have gone to Annapolis and he'd be here today instead of me. <laughs> Are they gonna end it? They're gonna end it. Maybe oh my not. god, they didn't end it. Okay. Thank you. They survived. They made it. Oh my god. They made it. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. What about Ed? What about Ed? Ed's bleeding out? And Alexi? Like, what is happening? Oh, Alexi didn't make it. <gasps> Ed. Alexi Palatov didn't make it. Uh, no! Not that it is Isabel Castillo. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god, I like know that heartbreaking cry. Like that is such a good actress. Jesus. Yeah, she's a good actress. What do you mean what do you do about her? I told you! I told everybody! I told everybody! I was so right! I told everybody! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Alright, I was here for that little Brit rant. That was good. Good job, Brit. Congratulations. I have never felt more I've never felt more vindicated. I've never felt more vindicated. I'm so I'm sad. I'm sad. But I'm somewhat happy about the fact that I was right on this. Thank you. Kelly's pregnant. Also, I mean, good luck. Because, like, speaking from experience, man, okay, when that nausea starts to hit you, you're going to be wishing you were back on Earth, okay? Like, she could have her baby in space. She's going to have her baby in space. There's no way she's not, right? She pretty much has to, you're right. I'm, yeah. Wait, but this is so devastating, though, that he'll never meet his child. Mm. His little Martian baby. But I certainly am going to take this opportunity to be like, it's her call. It might put the crew at risk, but it's still her body. So you know what? You guys can just take your little complaints back to Moscow. Screen rants with Brit. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy. I can't believe they killed Alexi. I knew they were going to, but I didn't want to believe it. I know. I, you know what it is, Bailey? It's like the curse of if, remember, I said Sam. I was like, Sam, the silver fox of season three. And I was like, he's the eye candy this season. And then they killed him. And then I was like, okay, I'm here for Alexi. Like, he's pretty cute. And they killed him. For, for all mankind, why do you hate attractive men so much? I don't know. I mean, I guess they're they're probably disputing that by being like, well, Ed's still in there. <laughs> Um, let's talk about the fact that Ed and Danny, that was wild. I can't believe that it took a Shane route. I mean, that shows the creative vision of this show, that they had like this arc 
from season one. Like, I feel, I feel like they wrote this entire series just like in one go. Like, I feel like they have had this figured out for so long, which is so rare in shows today where like they take it a season at a time. And it's just like, I couldn't believe that they looped that back in. But now, and I think somebody in the comments like picked up on this where they were like, you know, Danny was like, Danny was instigating with Shane, like all this bad stuff. I mean, Danny is a really unfortunate character, but again, I guess in a weird way, this is also probably the most I've ever liked Danny since this show began, because I honestly feel a lot of compassion for the fact that he clearly like really hates himself. And it must be very hard to live with all that guilt. Uh, yeah, whoever said that there was a redemption arc, it's a small one, like we still, think that Danny could be better, right? We, we need we need Danny to go to therapy. We've talked about that a few times. Um, but we did see the childhood trauma that he went through of his best friend dying and him internalizing it as his fault. And it kind of makes sense the decisions he made after that, even mm -hmm. with Karen, right? Usually when you go through something like that, you do try to like do reckless mm -hmm. things to like- So do you, you think know, that's what it was? Like, like why he went after Karen was just like, it was a reckless impulse? Or do you think that it was also like, in a like, I mean, it could. It, it, I think it's because it was a relation. Like they both lost Shane. I think there might have been some comfort in that. Yeah. Well, you know? Or like maybe he felt like what he was doing was like making Karen happy. I don't know about that, but mm. I mean, clearly, I do. I do feel like there, there's like a Shane tie in there of like, yeah, maybe he felt guilty and this was. But I, I think there yeah, is, a way to make up I think there is an element though of like where like clearly he was like, oh, Shane told me about how terrified he was of you and all this stuff. And then like, I feel like Danny also felt like Ed didn't pay Karen any attention. So in a weird way, I also feel like Danny has been harboring some really, really strongly negative feelings about Ed for a long time. And I think in a weird way, he might have felt like he was like giving Karen attention or something. Like, I don't know, but it's real. I mean, I agree. It's really messed up. Yeah. Well, and so like, let's, let's talk about like, yeah, the, the moment that they had kind of just before he was about to tell him about Karen and everything like that. But that moment of like Ed saying like, it's okay. Like he literally, like that was a big moment that I honestly didn't think both of them would survive from. I thought that was kind of like the one of them is giving forgiveness to the other and that was a really kind of powerful moment I thought. I, yeah I thought so too so now like how long do you think it's gonna be until Ed asks Danny what he meant by the other thing I don't know I'm, I think it's gonna be a season finale thing I don't think it's gonna be the next episode I think it's be the one after that I think Kelly's definitely going to survive I just want to go I like I want to say that I think she's gonna survive I think it's too cruel it's too cool. And I think the baby will too. I think I think it's gonna be the space baby and like. A I mean, they baby. could pull like they could kill off Kelly and save the baby, but that would be so cruel. I would like, if the show did that, I would like I would like no, I wouldn't stop watching. But I would really I would yeah. really <laughs> seriously consider stopping watching because I just it's unbearable. I just can't even think about that. But well, also because Kelly's one of the few younger women. Like we've got a lot of empowered older women from the first season, but she's one of the like. Actually, I would almost say the only. Well, Alita, Alita. You know, this generation. Oh, Alita, of course. Yeah. But there are only yeah, two, true. really. Because I wouldn't say yeah. Amber is very empowered. No. Yeah. She needs. Yeah. Um. But but I mean, and Kel Ke uh, Kelly's the only female astronaut of those two women. <laughs> yeah. You know, like she's she's the only younger like next gen female astronaut so but I mean Alita went to space too but she's still more of an engineer who went to space as opposed to Kelly but yeah so like um okay and Ellen and Pam do you think Ellen's gonna come out yes I do really I do and I'm and I hope so because I think I think she's fed up with Larry and I think because yeah. he's for Larry right this is actually and I'm not saying he's done this maliciously but it has worked out in such a way where like Ellen has gotten to be the one in the spotlight, which I actually think is better for Larry because he has, he gets to like kind of have the life he wanted, have the access to things that he wanted politically, but he doesn't actually have to 
like put himself out there and be the person in the front. So he kind of gets to do what he wants to do behind the scenes, which obviously is the case. Which is other guys. Yeah. But like, I don't think it's fair. Yeah. Well, I do feel like he's kind of been riding the coattails of Ellen a yeah. little bit. You know, like I think he's been kind of reaping the benefits more than um, supporting her, you know? And I'm kind of from yeah. day one, right? Remember, like, he reached out and he was like, look because she was like not here for the arrangement initially but then he was like look like i know what's up like they're fall like they're following you they're gonna find out but we can like you know act like we're together and we can help each other out i kind of feel like he sought her out as a way of covering up his life and i don't think it was very altruistic like i think it was mostly to look out for larry i think that's fair but can i remind you that we saw about 30 seconds of a son that they have and we've not seen him since. True. What is that about? <laughs> That's a good point. Like who is looking after that boy? Is there anything else we need to talk about? That was a, that was a solid episode. That was really comprehensive, yeah. Matt, the writers are on point this season. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And although I definitely see that there's like a bit of a trope to be played here on the whole like Kelly getting pregnant thing. Oh, that, that, like you said, that was totally a Hollywood, like, yeah, yeah. And mostly I'm just dis- oh, I'm so sad, I'm so sad. About Alexi? Yeah, I'm really sad about it. Yeah, I'm bummed about that too. And man, Kelly's like heartbreaking, like that's, that's a real cry, folks. Like that's, that's like when a girl is heartbroken, that's what the crying looks like. That was heartbreaking. Yeah. So, two more episodes left. <sighs> two more episodes left. Um, Do you think we can make it? I don't know. And you know what? Next, so Bailey, the next two episodes, I'm going to have a different scenery. Me too. We're both traveling for the next two episodes. So you guys will not see. Although yeah. this is new too. But like. <laughs> I'll try to like bring some fun props. There you go. All right, Bailey. This has been really fun. Everybody watching in the comments, it's okay that you weren't right, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a jerk about this for just a minute. Chris, like, you can be wrong sometimes. <laughs> okay. It's, we can't all be savants at watching for all mankind, okay? Only, only some of us can see what's coming. No, just kidding, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. I love everybody here. I love the comments. But hopefully some of you will be like, yeah, Britt, okay, you're redeemed. Cause like, I feel like, yeah, there just needs to be a few comments that's just like, Britt was right, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, because like, you all told me, you are like, no way. No way. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it's fine. Um, all right, Bailey, until next week. Until next week. We'll see you guys then. All right. Bye, everyone.